The Kai KF-21 Borami, formerly known as KFX, is a South Korean 4.5 generation fighter aircraft development program, with limited Indonesian involvement, with the goal of producing an advanced multi-role fighter for the South Korean and Indonesian Air Forces. The airframe is stealthier than other fourth generation fighters, but does not carry weapons in internal bays like fifth generation fighters, though internal bays may be introduced later in development. The program is led by the South Korean government, which holds 60% of the program's shares. Indonesia took a 20% stake in the program in 2010, and the remaining 20% is held by private partners including the manufacturer Korean Aerospace Industries KAI. The Kai KFX is South Korea's second domestic fighter jet development program, following the F-A-50. In April 2021, the first prototype was completed and unveiled during a rollout ceremony at the headquarters of Kai in Sarchan. It was officially given the name Borami. The first test flight is anticipated in 2022, with manufacturing scheduled to begin in 2026. At least 40 aircraft are planned to be delivered by 2028, with South Korea expecting to deploy a total of 120 of the aircraft by 2032. It will also be available for export market. In Indonesia, the KFX development program is referred to as the FX program. The Jakarta Globe reported that the completed aircraft will receive the designation F-33. In February 2019, Kai began production work on the KFX prototype, with six expected to be completed in 2021. These are to undergo four years of trials, and complete the development process by mid-2026. The first prototype was publicly rolled out on 9 April 2021, in addition to the six aircraft for airborne tests, two will be made for ground tests. DAPA anticipated a first test flight in 2022. Critics noted that the KFX would cost up to twice as much as a top-end F-16 model and that Japan had encountered a similar situation with its Mitsubishi F-2. President Moon Jae-in visited Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, in Sacheon, South Gyeongsang Province, Friday, for the unveiling ceremony of the first KF-21 Borami. Indonesian Defence Minister Prabowo Subianto and more than 230 government officials from both countries also attended the ceremony. Indonesia is a partner in the project. General characteristics crew, 1 or 2 length, 16.9 meters wingspan, 11.2 meters height, 4.7 meters wing area, 46.5 square meters empty weight, 11,800 kilograms gross weight, 17,200 kilograms max takeoff weight, 25,400 kilograms power plant, 2 times General Electric F414 GE 400K after burning turbofan, 57.8 kN thrust each dry, 97.9 kN with afterburner and maximum speed, Mach 1.81. Armament is, air-to-air -air missiles, MBDA Meteor, AIM-120 AMROM, Tail Iris T, AIM-9X Sidewinder. Air-to-ground missiles, Taurus Kept 350, AGM-65. Anti-ship missiles, AGM-84 Harpoon.
bombs, normal bombs, mk.81 slash 82 slash 83 slash 84, gbu 39 slash bsdb, cbu 105 wcmd. Precision guided bombs, jdam, gbu 54 56 lidam, gbu 12 lgb, kggb. In addition to Moon, Indonesian Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto, Kai representatives and defense officials from Korea and Indonesia witnessed the rollout of the prototype. The development of the KF-21 has been called the most expensive military project in Korean history, with a price tag of approximately 8.5 trillion won, 7.8 million dollars, for development alone. Approximately 1.6 trillion won, or 20%, is to be paid by Indonesia, which will eventually receive 50 out of a total 170 jets. Hope you guys loved the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all. So you can get the notification on each upload.